Hello there everyone, it's me Harry and today I'm going to show you my Nintendo Switch game collection. This one's not as big as my other ones because I don't have many Switch games and a majority of these are all um, first party titles so yeah my um, collection's not as big as like other um, like other Switch collections but there you go. It's what I, it, it's what I do best. So anyways let's start it off. We got Mario Kart 8 Deluxe from this is Nintendo, released in 2017. This was the first Switch game I got. Yeah, released in April of 2017. Super Mario Odyssey came out on um, October 27th, 2017. I got this on launch day. And on the back, it's got the lyrics for Jump Up Superstar. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, a port of the Wii U game the same name, featuring courses based on Super Mario Odyssey. Released on um, July 13th, 2018, I think. Came out alongside the 3DS version, which I don't own. It's got um, some ways on how to play the game. Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, released in November of 2018. I think it's November the 18th. So yeah, Co-published -pub by the Pokemon Company. And then on the side, it's got an ad for um, the Pokemon Trainers Guide for Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee and the trading card game. And talks about other ways to play Pokemon and then it says um, how to connect it with Pokemon Go, about video game site, train card game, virtual Pokedex and watch episodes of the um, anime. We've got, oh, we've got Super Smash Bros Ultimate in its, um, in its, in, in its um, steelbook. This came out in December of 2018. I, I don't have the um, case for it anymore. I just have this. This was originally meant to be a pre-order bonus, but um, Amazon somehow messed up and I got this um, normally. I just bought this normally without any issue at all. There you go. Yeah, it's got a few um, scuff marks on it, but it's still in okay condition. New Super Mario Bros. U, released in January of 2019. Port of um, New Super Mario Bros. U, but with Toadette in it. And it's got new Super Luigi U as well. Oh, and I forgot on the Let's Go Pikachu one, the inside is a map of Kanto. Well, on this one, we have a, a world map of, um, well, the Mushroom Kingdom in this game. Peach is kidnapped. And there's um, Peach and then there's Nabbit missing out on the toads. Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, this is the only third-party game I own at the moment. I recently sold um, the Asterix games, because the original versions, I'd have to say, are better. This is a port of a game by Eurocom, published by THQ Nordic, and it was released in mid-2019, I think. It's a port of the PC version to the remastered version of the game. And then it's just got some warnings for, about stuff from THQ Nordic. And there's the rating on there. Super Mario Maker 2, released in May of 2019. Well, it's the sequel to Super Mario Maker on the Wii U, which I don't own anymore. And the inside flap has, um, well, Mario and Luigi like, building a course or something with the logo on the bottom. Oh, I forgot. I forgot to move this one. Super Mario Party. This actually came out in October of 2018. Developed by um, ND Cube. And then inside you have all the main characters of the game. Nothing much to say about this one. Oh, I need to move this back where, um, there we are. That's where it's supposed to go. I knew something was going wrong right there. Animal Crossing New Horizons released in, on March the 20th, 2020. Just about every Switch owner has this game. And it's no surprise why. 
I actually got this on launch day itself. Kept me busy during the lockdown. So we got Paper Mario Origami King released on um, July 17th, 2020. The um, anniversary of when Paper Mario, aka Mario Story, first came out in Japan on the Nintendo 64. And then on the inside you have um, the various origami enemies you could face. Super Mario 3D All-Stars released on... I think September the 13th, 2020. Re um, basically a re-release of um, three different Mario games. And with some additional features along the way. And inside it just has pictures of the other Mario games. There's not much to say about that one. Super Mario 3D World plus Bowser's Fury released in February of 2021 including the original game and, of course, Fury Mode. I mean, Bowser's Fury, a brand new um, standalone adventure. And then on the front, we have artwork of Fury Bowser and Mario and Bowser Jr. looking at him. And I took a break for a while and then I got Mario Party Superstars released in October of 2021. Really fun game, this one. And then on the front, you have all the playable characters. Well, not Bowser and Kamek. And then we have some of the games featured in it. Hopefully some DLC arrives for this game at some point, because it needs more stages. And then last but not least, at the moment, Pokemon Brilliant Diamond, released in November of 2021. So we have, um, that's the side. You have um, the characters. And then you have um, a little ad for Pokemon Legends Arceus, which I don't own. And then you have a map of Sinnoh in there. And then on the inside you have um, a little ad for, um, like if you have um, Let's Go Pikachu and Eevee um, save data, you can get a Mew. And if you have Pokemon Sword and Shield save data, you can get a Jirachi. And then on the back is an ad for the trading card game. So there we are. That's my Nintendo Switch collection. It, it's a small one, as I said, but still, it's decent enough, I'd say. So anyways, thank you for watching and bye for now.